What's up my pongos, Andy with Andy Vlogs, excited to share with you guys this content here. As the title suggests, we're going to do another one of these comparison videos, two different car mounts that fit on your windshield or on your dashboard, one from the folks at Endoble and one from the folks at IOTI. Now these guys are some of the best in the market here, have some of the most Amazon reviews and I think are some that you guys can definitely consider. Both of them have very similar features and uh, both of them uh, have really high quality suction cup and also, you know, mounting materials. With that said, before we jump into it, I have to let you know that this is a sponsored video. The folks at Endoble did send me these products here to review and do the comparison. Down below in the links in the description will be the product pricing and availability here. With that said, let's go ahead and jump into the unboxing. The Easy Clip car mount and the smartphone car mount from respectively Endoble and IOTI are very similar in class where they both have this one touch grip um, two point um, mount as well as a very sticky suction cup uh, as well as a two or three point adjustment to connect to your windshield or on your dashboard we're gonna do a comparison video here to show you what both of these uh, look like on location but first let's go ahead and unbox them let's go with the OID first Pretty straightforward unboxing experience here. Everything's neatly wrapped. Provides you instruction guide, how to's. Comes in th three different parts. You got your suction, you've got your mount, and you've got your grip. You've got your mounting plate here in the event that you want to mount this to your dashboard. And then you've got the main articulating grip with ball and head joint. Uh, as you guys can see, it's got thumb screws here to give you probably, I don't know, 150 degrees, uh, depending on if you want to have it go on your windshield or on your dashboard. You've got this suction uh, sticky technology here to be able to grip to your dashboard or your windshield. And then uh, you've got the ball and head joint to be able to connect it. Let's go ahead uh, and show you before we connect it, you've got th this really nice rubber uh, grip here. Actually, you know, that's more of a like a thicker plastic. Um, it utilizes here, you push it in for it to grip, you squeeze these together for it to kind of actuate. Kind of interesting. Uh, you have this ability here to press and pull out uh, for in the event of larger phones. So I'm gonna be utilizing this because I have an iPhone 14 Pro Max, but this, uh, this is pretty interesting. You push that to um, open it and then it snaps right there in place. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, put it together here. You're going to be unscrewing the thumb screw. You're going to be placing it over the ball, snap the ball in there, and then you spindle it tight. You do have a thumb stick, a thumb screw here to, to extend it about maybe three or four inches, giving you quite a bit of length here up to about, I'd say 12 inches. That's quite that's quite enough here to be able to do it. What's also nice here is that the head does adjust you know, 360 degrees, and then you've got pan and tilt here of about 70 degrees. You loosen it to be able to get it in the right position, and then you can tighten it to get, grab right onto that uh, ball and head joint. Moving over to the Endoble, pretty straightforward here, unboxing as well. This product is one of my favorites, as it actually comes with two different types here. You've obviously got your mount here, like the other device. You've got your suction cup grip you get the grip and then you even have an extra for your vent so in the event that uh, you don't want to place it on your windshield or your dash you can opt into grabbing the teeth here uh, and the ball and head joint so we're going to set this aside but this is one difference one plus uh, compared to the oadi with that said uh, very straightforward usage for connecting the exact same size here to mount it on your dashboard and then you've got a similar sticky uh, suction cup uh, apparatus here. The thumb stick here is uh, obviously different. It does give you about 150 degrees as well. It seems like this base is a little bit smaller. You also have the extender here to extend it out about 12 inches to give you that more than enough grip distance here in order to grip your phone. You've got this suction cup mechanism here as well to be able to stick to where you need it. Let's go ahead now and show you the grip. As you press the button, you can see that it's spring-loaded and pushes it out. And then 
to cinch it tight, you just pinch it tight like that. As you can see, this is um, equipped with some rubber on the grip, extending out the little fork here to be able to make your phone bigger. It's gonna look really, really good. You've got this uh, grippy material that almost looks like Kevlar, but it's just the way that they've tooled it. It looks really, really good on the backside. You've got a much larger build here. Uh, we're gonna unscrew the thumb, thumb screw and we're gonna place it in the undoable grip. Place it on there, pretty straightforward. Thumb screw it tight. There you have it. Very, very similar takes in the devices. They both, this is the Andoble, this is the Oadi. It's all different, you know, according to your preference. They extend about the same size. As you can see, uh, the extender head or neck right here for Andoble is larger, like width wise, it's bigger. And it seems like it's a bigger build. I will point out here a couple of uh, differences, as you guys can see. Um, it looks like the grip plate for the Andoble is just a tad bit bigger. And it also looks like it holds a bigger phone, as you can see. That's going to be something that I care about because I'm, you know, iPhone 14 Pro Max. You do see here that you have some rubber stickiness here on the Wadi. Also here is a little more grippy. Similarly on the Andoble. Pretty thick. Both of them are pretty thick. It's very comparable. Just a couple of different styles here. A little bit differences there. Let's go ahead and place my phone on here for the Andoble. You're just gonna place it right in there, cinch it tight. As you guys can see, you can shake it. It's not going anywhere. It's got that two point here. Obviously up, up, upside down, it's gonna come off. But if you go up and down like that, it's gonna be able to hold on, you know, for the most part without any issue. Push the button to release it. Very simple. Let's go ahead and uh, move over to the Oadi. This one we're gonna be placing, um, this one you're gonna be pinching it to open it. And then when I put the, the against the back, you can see that it snapped right in, in, in shape, right there in the space. It ain't going anywhere as well. Punyos here on location. We're gonna go ahead and do it now, the comparison. We've got both of the devices here. I'm gonna be installing them right on the dashboard. Uh, I have prepped it already. You wanna make sure that you get rid of any kind of dust or dirt that's on your dashboard obviously it collects a lot because of the nature of it uh, let's go ahead and show you the installation you're going to want to obviously remove the plastic here it is a suction and it does have some stickiness to it here you'll want to make sure and unlatch this because that's the suction um, section and then you're going to place it where you want to you don't have tons of lateral movement here so because i want to place it right here and have it near me I'm gonna kind of angle it here to the side. So we're gonna go ahead and place it now. Give it a good old push. And then we'll go ahead and put the suction, suction down. And uh, right off the bat, you're all set, ready to be able to install it, ready to be able to put your phone on here. Adjust it where you need to. Then you can throw your iPhone right on here. Grabs right onto it. Nice and sturdy here. It does wobble just a little bit just because I have it all the way extended out. The closer you get it to the center or back to where it's at, the less likely it's gonna wobble here. And that's kind of generally tr true for these types of devices. Let's go and show you the Andoble. Pretty straightforward. You wanna clean the surface. Uh, you actually can reuse this by washing it once you're done. Basically, you peel this off. It's nice and sticky. Make sure you've got that latch there um, depressed and then we're going to be placing it where we want to as well we'll have this for the uh the passenger here pretty straightforward you just go ahead and place it where you want it once you get it firm there you're going to place it down and now the last bit is to wait 15 minutes to make sure that you've got adequate adhesive Okay, now that we've waited a long enough time here, you can go ahead and angle it wherever you'd like to. You've got plenty of direction here. You can even have it way down if you'd like. You can go ahead and extend it all the way out or pull it in further. And uh, to be honest, this is a lot more sturdy I've noticed here than the other. Let's go ahead now and flip and angle it the right direction that we want it. We've got the hook here extended because this is the big old phone. You'll notice the rubber We'll be able to hold it on tight, get it to the right angle, right where we want it, just like that. Tighten it tight, squeeze it shut, and there you have it. 
This is much more rigid than the Iotti, which I actually really appreciate. The Iotti was a little, a little too loose for me. I didn't like where the thumb stick is here, and uh, it just seems it's much better on the Endoble. Okay, if you want it on the windshield here, you gotta just find the place that you wanna put it. I'm gonna go ahead and just slap it right here, right in the middle, suction cup down. This is the uh, Endoble first, as you guys can see. It's right there, you have the option to place it right on the windshield if you want. It doesn't leave a mark or any issues. Place it right on here, adjust it as you need to, where you'd like, tighten it, and then I can angle it right at my face if I want. If I don't have the right angle, you can unscrew this thumb screw, get it the right angle, and they have it. Let's move on to the IOD. Let's go ahead and loosen this up here as well. We're gonna give you the same side, well the other side here for the passenger, gonna angle it kind of like that. Place it on, suction cup. Here we're going to adjust it to get to the right angle. Right where it's at, looks fine. Extend it all the way. You have to press this in order to get them to connect. The spring action grabs it and it's nice and tight. I think this is a little bit more secure here than on the dashboard, but you can see there, you've got both of those uh, right where you need them, right where you want them. All right, my Ponyos, well that about does it here. It really is up to your preference for you guys to decide what you wanna choose. Very hard for me to determine. As you guys saw there on location, both of them really accomplish the same goal. Can be placed in a myriad of different positions windshield, dashboard, all that good stuff. Uh, you guys be the one to decide which one's better. I think ultimately it comes to the quality, it comes to the uh, size of the grip, as well as the cost. Down below in the links in the description will be the product pricing and availability. I'll have a link for both of these products. Just know this is sponsored by Andoble, as you guys uh, know uh, from the beginning. With that said, hit that like button, subscribe if you wanna see more. Guys, thank you so much for watching. We'll catch you on the next one.